Hey everyone, Johnny Struggles here. We got the last Starship Alpha 4. We got a new custom ship here called the Artemis. A buddy of mine named that for me. Couldn't think of a name at the time. Not a good one. We got a little graphical glitch here. That spacesuit is on the wall. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to call this an Alpha 4 class combat vessel. Maybe a light cruiser based on the tonnage and weapon size, well, weapons loadout and size. Uh, Alpha 4 being I'm using tracks and arms to load the guns for quick loading and reduce the load on crew. That previous video I showed where I was comparing a gun being loaded by an arm fired about 25% faster than a gun that was manually loaded with the ammunition stored close by. So it's definitely a benefit. Now let's take a closer look at that right now. Let's go to schematic. So here, we got all these uh, bulkheads, I guess. I got tracks going to where an arm picks it up and puts it into the gun. This way, you know, the guns fire faster. You don't have to wait for the crew to reload it manually. And then you kind of like have a magazine room back behind the gun. So you got a gun in its own little room, then another room behind it for the well, magazine room behind it. I put space to storage there as well, just because it's a cool spy if they need it. And then the main hallway through the ship. So it takes up a lot of space, but I'm just kind of messing around with designs right now. I like having a two square space hallway for the because the doors are two squares, it gives plenty of room in the hallway. So I try to do that, planning everything in my ship. I don't like trying to cram equipment too much on top of each other. Make it to where you can, crew can get to everything without equipment being hide, hidden behind other equipment. You know, like this medium tank I have in the back here that's hidden behind the engines. Uh, I think that's the only piece of equipment I have on the ship buried. Now anyway, we have four cannons on either side. Two cannons facing forward and then three Gatling guns on either side. Uh, life support and life support. We've got CO2 scrubbage a reactor, waste treatment, and a reactor. So, as typical struggle fashion, I designed the ship and forgot to put an FTL drive on it. So that's sitting back here. I reconfigured the rear here, put the FTL drive, but I'm pretty sure what I'm going to do now, because of the size, I'll take the FTL drive out in the storage and put both reactors back there. And I'm pretty sure I can cram all this life support into one space with still being making it accessible like I was talking about. And put the FTL drive up here, probably this tank here. And put the FTL up here in front. I'm most likely going to do that. Now two reactors is, is a bit light for this ship, but since we don't have any rail guns, it is okay. If we check things out, let's go to tactical. No armor on this one yet. I've not decided if I'm going to put any armor on it or not. I'll probably put at least some light armor on it. We'll see. We punch it here. Velocity is going to hit 45. Yep, there we are, 45. So, pretty quick for a vehicle this size. Hello, star base. Only four thrusters, though, so it doesn't turn quite that fast. Once the evasion gets up there, it's a pretty quick ship. Of course, if I armored it up, it would be a lot slower. The one interesting thing... I'm going to talk about a couple bugs. Still got the kind of graphical bug here for the shell on certain angles. It just doesn't, you know, coordinate right. It's probably because these angle pieces can't. They probably don't have a triangle point yet designed. Oh, wait, there's some right here. Eh, just logic's not there yet. Minor bugs. Uh, what is another bug? Atmosphere. So I have, you know, life support here. There's an air duct. And I have another air duct down here. I had to remove the doors from these rooms. Apparently there's some bug that was blocking there from going to this room, going through this door. So both these rooms were full of oxygen and the rest of the ship was a vacuum. So I removed the doors and now the whole ship is happy. Well, the crew's happy. Happier. So that's another bug, I just ended up removing the doors and that made everything PG. Don't know what the deal is there, tried a couple things, doesn't work. So there's a door in a box, door in a box. But anyway, I think we should try a little bit of combat. Now one thing I wish you could do is place where you wanted to spawn the ships, because right now you hit escape, you go import friendly or hostile. It would be really nice if I can say import and then pick the ship I want and then put them somewhere specific. So we're going to pick on the original Armored Beast. Well not original, I saw they tweaked this one. No, maybe fight the upgraded one to see how terrible that thing is now. 
import hostile. Oh, I forgot to do import thing battle stations, men and women. Put it on slow. One thing I would like on battle stations, if you click it, if you have some kind of options you would want, like I want all the crew to wear spacesuits in battle stations, and I want all the door vents to be closed. I mean, I got all these bulkheads, I might as well take, take advantage of it. Even though it doesn't really matter. Okay, there they are. Engage. Now we stay on slow. It's gonna take a minute for the guns. Well, I guess everyone's about there. So we have cannons, we gotta get in close. We gotta get in close to get in range. Okay, at normal speed, we'll just play it out. So this is the original armored beast. I just tweaked it a bit. If you loaded up the ship, they could play it better. Had a lot of internal blocking walls. Now we are not armored, and he is. So this will be a, a challenge. I'd be kind of surprised if we won it actually. But we are fast, so maybe we can avoid some damage that way. And Rotom Tate. We got these auto loading cannons, so we should be able to fire a lot of rounds as long as we keep him in range. I are ripping him apart in the rear there. He's getting too far away from us. Don't hit me! Okay, 75% hit us. I need to rotate around and hit the other side of our ship, take a shot at him. It's dangerous. He's at 40% damage. Hard rank. Don't want to hit those, get to buy those real guns. There we are, getting close. Gatling guns will do damage on the non armored spots of the ship. Come on, take aim. Ugh. Keeping our evasion a decent number. There we go. It's definitely helping. Locked in a turn on the death spiral. Come on, cannons, and get in there. I wish I could view what's going on here. There's still plenty of ammo. So, oh, we killed him. Wasn't even looking. Good job, everybody. Let's see what we took here. So these front guns took some damage. I think we still have 14 crew members. Nobody died. That's surprising. They take some damage. Somebody, the guy who installs these floor tiles is going to be pissed. But everyone's alive. Bonus. You can see some ammo was used up. They were... Full up here, yep. <laughs> space suit is on the track. <laughs> I don't know why the space suit is on the track. Okay, so there's a bug where if a crewed member of the ship steps on the track, it bugs out the track. It puts equipment on. I mean, it acts like it puts him on the track and he still walks around, but I've not seen it where the space suit is now on the track. He must have took it off on the track and said, hey. There are some bugs. One way I get the track to work is there's one cargo slot here for cannon rounds, and so the crew puts the object here, and, you know, and ammunition and it goes down the track so um yeah ideally the suit would not be part of the track if you're not placing it there but you know these guys just feel free to undress wherever they like all right let's um let's reset the ship and we'll fight the modern hostile always hostile the armored beast uh the mr struggles upgraded version overall the ship didn't do too bad 39% damage. Alright, let's reset. Okay, and we're back. I'm gonna go ahead and click on battle stations to get everyone advantage. So, I haven't tried this before. Battle stations, we do um, suits on. Oh, they do ignore battle stations and go put a suit on. I believe everyone has a suit to wear. Maybe. Maybe that guy doesn't. Alright, well, you know. Thought being, if they put a suit on, where's the guy for this gun? Is he coming? There he goes they put a suit on, the room vents, then they don't have to go put a suit on. They can continue fighting. Boop. 
All right, guns out. I guess we do have a couple spots for cannon rounds here. There's cannons here. Are we in the bug where there's actually something there? Oh, I don't have a cargo space there showing you here. Wait a second. There should be. It was there just a minute ago. It's not showing up. I'm confused. Uh, cannon shells. I mean, all this cannon, they must have got removed. There must be a bug there, too. It was literally just there. I just reloaded the ship. Unless it's a view or something, I'm not showing you. Okay, he's putting the stuff on, but he's wearing a suit. Don't get stuck on the track. I'm very dangerous. Okay, so they're going to load up the rest of the track with the rest of the items that were available. Almost looks something's a little off on this view here. Oh, he's on the turn. That's why he's, that graphic's farther down. That's right. Okay. Okay. Now we're loaded, ready to go. Let's get rid of the menu here. Okay. We're in battle stations. All guns are deployed. We're ready to rock and roll. Let's import a hostile bad guy. <laughs> I should be confused with a friendly bad guy. Uh, let's see, the updated version by me. Punch it, get our evasion up. Let's see where this guy's at. Oh, crap. Er, that's a bad start. We're already going to have to redo this. Maybe. Maybe we'll get lucky. 23% right, damage from the first salvo of railguns. Now on this upgraded armored beast, I went kind of with the original theme. I just loaded up with how I would do the ship and filled out the internals. So if you destroy this guy, you actually get a decent reward of stuff. Let's turn all the way to him there. Get the throttle back up. Slow down too much there. Oh, come on. The thing is, he's weak in the back because there's no guns back there. It's on the side, but I'm getting lit up. Turn. Being unarmored, the Gatling guns would do a number on me. And he has a decent number of Gatling guns. Come on, target lock. There you go, cannons. Do your thing. This is a sweet spot. We've done a lot of damage and not really... Oh, we got hit there. And there. <laughs> I'm just going to sit out here like this. Oh, oh. Oh! We got him to 50%, though. Feel pretty decent about that. We, we put a hurt on him. Let's try that again. He's got... Oh, I forgot. He's got his repair drones picks, and I put some drones on there. That makes it harder to kill. I don't have any repair drones on my ship. <laughs> that cannon position is literally unmanned. There's a big hole in the ship there. Alright, we're going to do this one more time. Now there's a lot. <laughs> Rename this from hostile armored beast to a lot more hostile armored beast. Alright, let's uh, reset. Okay, we have our ship back, and then again, I'm still seeing that the storage space for the cannon rounds are not there. I'm going to double-check the recording at the beginning. I swear, on the first part of the video, those were showing there. And I've loaded all these cannon rounds by having the cargo space selected there. So there is definitely some kind of buggage going on. So here's the kind of load up the ammo. Put it back on track. Okay, then we're going to do battle stations. And... I should curl and put the suits on first. Suit up. That's pretty cool. Oh, then we'll do the other thing. We'll uh, close all. Close vents. So it's close vents, close all. That's doors. So close all doors, close all vents. Yeah. The doors are. The door vents are closed. Not letting air, any air circulate. Everyone's in their suit. Everyone's wearing a suit, right? Right, guys? Okay. Making sure I don't suffocate somebody on accident. Alright. So let's kill the menus. Bloop, bloop. Let's punch it. Full throttle. I want to be at full speed when we import the enemy ship. So we don't get 25% damage right off the spawn on accident. Alright. Import hostile. Get him in here. Alright, where is he at? Oh, right behind us. All these NPCs are getting out of here. They're like, that's some trouble. 
some trouble. Ooh, the real gun's doing some damage. We're too far out. 14% damage. A little we're getting chicken pox there already. Oh, more damage than we were last time before we got to engage. The Vages is not doing as much good. We need to be armored for this kind of combat. Yeah, heavy damage in the first. Just getting to him. I guess the other thing, he was right on top of us when he spawned, but he was in range of our guns too, so that's our advantage. We lost one of the cannons in the front. Looks like we lost all the cannons on one side. They're all inside the ship. And we're done. Yeah. The Mark II here that I created is a lot more deadly now. A lot more hostile, if you will. And this Joni guy's coming to repair himself. He's like, that was nothing. 1% damage. Psh. We'll be zero here in a second once these drones are done patching up the few little. Yep, there it goes. 0%. He just hit a speed bump on the way. Alright, well, let's try one more time. I'm going to fully armor my ship. We'll check out the speed on it, then we will engage in combat. One thing I noticed now is the NPC Starbase is not engaging the hostile ship that you spawn. That's kind of nice. We still have the fighters resolving on the screen here. I mean, they're there, but they're not there. Cloaked fighters. Okay. Reset. So we are going to fully armor our ship and see how slow we are. Do it. Make me slow, man. Add 13,000 mass. <laughs> Double my mass, please. Okay, tactical. So we were going 45 at top speed before. Under normal thrust. Now we're going to be... Yeah, about what you expect. Almost half. No, it's above half, but... Not by much. <laughs> you know, like two or three above half. Alright, well, that tells me what I need to know. Let's get prepped for combat. Orders. I'm not even going to bother putting the thing here. We'll just let them manually load this few cannon rounds we have extra. Need to just fix that and save it again, I guess. I don't know. I think the bug happened and then I re-exported the ship when the bug must have removed my storage space and it's now saved that way. So anyway, uh, let's do this. Suits on. Close down. Back close again. Close, close vents. Okay, it doesn't, did it not highlight or something? I don't know. Close all. I guess it just does a command. I'm thinking it should highlight like over here, but. And then we'll say close vents. Okay. So we gotta remember to open those at some point because I tell them to take the suits off. Well, the ship will still be oxygenated, but it will not spread from these rooms. Okay, uh, battle stations, man. And women. Battle stations, people. Why is that one guy not wearing a suit? What the hey? That guy's still sitting on his wall. He's just hanging out. Screw physics. Is he inside the ship or is he like floating around outside? There we go. There's a hallway there. You just can't tell. Dramatic. Yeah, he's in there. He's just fine. And do we not have a suit for that guy? I thought there was one missing earlier. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Alright. We'll go with it. And punch it. Get our top speed of 25-ish. Close enough. And poor bad guy. Poor little bad guy. He's right there. Oh my goodness. He is right there. He's taking 4 damage from our Gatling gun. Let's turn right at him. Our invasion's a little above our speed at 30. But now we can take some damage because we're armored. Let them have it, men and women. Let them have it, people. Light up his engines. Come on, let's take one or two out. Stay back here and just put some holes in them. Oops. Now, one thing I don't like to do, I don't like to target any specific thing, really, usually, because it's kind of cheap. Because you can just fire all your guns at one single point of the enemy ship and destroy the whole thing pretty quickly. Hope they add some logic to make that a little bit uh, less of a cheat in the future. It's hard to see on top of the station. The station's still really staying neutral in this one. We're doing a 
lot better. Oh, as he gets lit up. Holy crap. Yeah, we were doing good until that happened. Yeah, I was looking, yeah, we only got like 16% damage and he's at 50, 40 something. And then we just got nailed and <laughs> they went all our armor. He's doing pretty good though. I thought we had a really good chance of that. Oh man. I'm gonna be scared of this guy. I was always scared of this ship at the beginning of the game. Now not so much. Not the original version of it anyway. I'm scared of this guy now. But that is a, a light ship in uh, regard to anything. Well, fully armored it's not so light anymore. I'd call it a heavy cruiser, probably. Alright, but hey, there you go, custom ship, the Artemis. I'll probably load that on the Steam Workshop. So check it out out there if you see it. And thanks for watching everybody. If you enjoyed this, click that like button. Subscribe if you have not. I would really appreciate it. And thanks to everyone who has subscribed. And with that, thanks again, and catch you on the next one. Bye.